Okay, so I have a customer that sent me three Ames power inverters, and they all appear to be the same model, PWRINV2500024W. They look like they're 2500 watt inverters, 24 volts. So we'll just take a look around the first one. Looks like the uh, receptacle has been overheated, seen better days. Everything looks okay back here, a little dusty. Have to clean them out a little bit. Right off the bat, no fuse, wrong fuse, no fuse, no fuse. And on the other side, no fuse, wrong fuse, wrong fuse, wrong fuse. This one's totally dead. Well, I wonder why. Because this fuse that goes right here, as you may remember from the other inverter, is the one that supplies power to the microprocessor. So if that fuse blows, this is gonna be dead. So let's get a voltmeter and we'll do an ohm check to ground on the output side of all of these fuses. 0.5, 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.4. So let's go ahead and just pull the fuses out just in case. So I'm sure that one's bad, that one's bad, that one's bad because it has no fuses. This one's bad, but are the other three bad? Let's go ahead and pull those fuses out first. Okay, all the fuses are out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and test them all once again. This is the DC input and it's open. This is common to all the leads. So this is the DC output from the fuse. Dead short, 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 and dead short. So every one of these FETs has got a problem. They're all shorted. So more likely than not, it's gonna need to have these driver transistors replaced on both banks. And once I pull these support bars off down here and up here, we're probably gonna see some burnt resistors as well. This one very well may have been hooked up backwards like the last one. Okay, so checking out this one, all the FETs are bad, but all the driver resistors are good on this one. So I'm thinking this one might have had a little bit of water damage. And I'll show you what I mean after we take a look at all these resistors. So here is the other row of resistors, the 10 ohm resistors. They all look absolutely perfectly fine. I don't see any problems with those whatsoever. But I'll show you what I saw on the FET. Somebody else has been into this thing multiple times, I'd say. Because take a look at that one FET in the center. Only one lead is actually still connected on it. So I think someone's had this apart multiple, multiple times. And let me show you why I think that there is water damage on this unit. So take a look at the leads on those two FETs. You certainly see some arcing. The rest of them don't look too terribly bad. I still see a little remnants of arcing, maybe some arcing on that one. That one does not look too good. That one looks almost acceptable. Yeah, it's definitely been wet. Look at the color of the center lead there. Same on that one. Let's go to the other bank now. That one looks good. Good, 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 good. And we'll go ahead and do some quick checks on the output FETs just to see what state they're in as well. So I should see a junction one way and I am on the diode scale. I see nothing. And I see a dead short on that one. Not good. Dead short. Now this one looks like it's been wet, but those two are shorted. We're gonna have to replace all four FETs plus all 16 of the FETs on the rest of the board and probably replace the driver transistors as well to be safe. Well, as with the last one, I'm gonna go ahead and contact my customer, give my customer an estimate, see if he wants to proceed with the repair on this unit. This may be part one of part two, this may be only part one. I appreciate you making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave me a question, a comment, a concern down below. While you're down there, hit that subscribe button and like this video. It really does help my channel grow. You can follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at NorCal715. You can email me NorCal715videos at gmail.com. Remember, with your help, we can try to keep these things out of the landfill, out of the recycle bin, and out of the e-waste facility. Everybody, thanks for making it to the end of part one of one or maybe two. I really do appreciate it. Everyone have a great day. Bye-bye.